Before I get started into today's video, guys, scan on my EPS, be sure to leave a like down below. All right, as you guys can see, my product is finally here, guys, for my Honda, basically, with the EPS issue that I've been having going on. So I'm going to bring this thing out there. Look, it even says Honda right there. You guys can see it's a perfect rain day today. So I could just focus all my attention on basically being inside the car to scan it. It says EPS. Got the Crocs with the socks. Oof. Don't mind the absolute mess, guys. My car's a mess right now. I just picked up a new mountain bike, new Trek mountain bike, something I've been wanting for a very long time. So in today's video, I'm going to show you, finally, after two years, what code my EPS is throwing right now. Now this process should be the same for eighth gens and ninth gen Civic SIs, as well as basically any Honda with EPS and OBD2. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if the code, cause it's kind of cold today and this thing's really funky guys, the EPS. So I'm gonna see if the code is on first, all right? It hasn't been on the last few times I started it. Let's check and see if it's on. All right, the code is off, that's weird. Shut it down again. We'll try one more time. All right, EPS is on, guys. Now, I got the notorious EPS. Let's plug in our multi-system scanner, guys. Also, I wanna give a huge shout out to Dylan Wang for recommending the Foxwell NT scanner. Swears by it, use it on his Audis, and he has a, a 2013 Civic Si that he uses it for. So huge shout out to you. I'm gonna drop his Instagram right here so you guys can go check him out. All right, let's connect this bad boy. Scan gun is plugged in. If you guys don't know where your OBD2 is on your 8th gen Civic Si as well as like other model Hondas, I believe it's all mostly in the same position. It's 2007 Civic Si, the OBD port is right here, guys. So just match it up to there. Uh, connect the diagnostic cable, switch the ignition key, uh, key to on. So we're just gonna switch it to on. And then we're gonna go to, it says, hopefully I don't have to update this thing either, honestly. All right, so before I could go any further, like it wouldn't even let me read the EPS code or the EPS code wouldn't come up. I'm just gonna try registering and updating my uh, unit here. So I'm online, I gotta just put in some information real quick and then I'm gonna go back outside and try it once the Foxwell is updated. All right guys, just finishing up the, <clears throat> the update process right now. It's kind of, I mean, it wasn't too complicated, but this computer is so old, it was giving me a little bit of issues. So um, I'm just waiting for everything to finish here. It's unzipping some files, and then I can go and plug this thing into the car. But this already has the Honda, the Honda software on here, pretty much, for the OBD2. So let's try this again, guys. I got the system... I got my Foxwell all updated. It's kind of a pain in the balls, but made it work with my old prehistoric computer. So let's try this again. We're gonna plug it in OBD. So the EPS light is on, you guys can see that. All right, so, all right. OBD's plugged in. It'll automatically connect when the OBD is on. And now basically what it's telling us to do is switch the ignition to the on position. All right, guys, I'm in the function menu right now and I found my EPS. 
and it's loading the EPS right now, guys. So I got my ignition on. You can see all the lights are lit up, and it's reading something right now. Let's see. We'll read codes. Let's see if it'll bring up the code right now. There it is. Permanent DTC. DTC EPS control unit internal circuit. Step up circuit. All right, guys. Now I am going to clear the code, right? So we'll clear code. DTCs and freeze that it will be clear. Are you sure you want to continue? We're going to do yes. F3. Turn ignition switch off. Turn ignition switch on. Clearing code request is sent. Please read codes again. Check if DTCs are cleared successfully. Let's see if I start it and the code is gone. Guys, if this works. God damn it, the code is still there. Well, the code is still there, but... I mean... Let's, let's see here, I want to refresh this. Yeah, the code's still popping up, guys. I have a permanent internal circuit, guys, so it's electrical related. All right, so now that I officially have the code scanned on my little unit here, it's basically DTC EPS control unit internal circuit. So it's some type that explains why when I switch my high beams on sometimes the light comes off. So like something's going on electronically, obviously it's a it's electronic power steering. So the smallest imperfection in the elect electrical unit could be a um, could be a light bulb or it could be some type of short somewhere, ground wire. It's it's hard to say what it is, but now I finally have an understanding of what it was. So all in all, I'm just happy I finally scanned the code and I wanted to show you guys what it what it is. Uh, I'm definitely gonna do a follow up series on this, you know. So if you if you like this video, be sure to give me a like. Drop all your comments down below and subscribe if you want to see more content. So um, also let me know if you guys are battling EPS issues. A lot of you guys have been commenting on my videos. So I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out. And remember, never stop wrenching. Also, I want to show you guys when I get the chance, I'm going to show you guys I got a new mountain bike, Trek. It's pretty sweet.